All right, in this video, we're gonna go over Python split function. Uh, technically, the split function is a method. Uh, we're not gonna go through the difference between methods and functions because it really doesn't matter for our purposes. Uh, and there's not a huge difference anyway. Uh, so the usage of the split function is to take a string and split it into parts. Uh, and you're gonna do that based on this dividing character that you can specify. So if you have a string, let's say that was a sentence, that had spaces in between, you could separate it at all the spaces, uh, or you could do some other things which we'll take a look at in a minute. Uh, so the syntax for this is the name of the string that you're trying to split up, dot split, and then in the parentheses goes two arguments. The first is the separating character. So in the example we just gave, that would be space, because if we were gonna split up a sentence at uh, each space, then the separating character would be space. And then the second argument is max splits, and that's the maximum number of times that you want the split function to actually split the string that you're trying to split. Uh, and then down here I wrote uh, another example with no arguments given, because if you exclude all these arguments, then it will do uh, space as the default separating character and unlimited splits as the number of splits that you could uh, split your string into. So if you don't include the separating character, it will default to space. And if we include a separating character but not a max splits, then it will you know, split at the character that we give it an unlimited number of times because we didn't specify a max splits value. And then what we return or what we get as the return value from this function is a list of the lines that were created by splitting up the string into these different parts. All right, so if we look at a couple of examples here, we could, uh, let's say, make a string uh, called uh, were or sentence. And we can say this is a sentence. And we could say, now we have a sentence. We, we could really just split it up using the split function. So we would use the uh, syntax that we looked at before. So this is the name of the string dot split. So our string name is sentence dot split. And then we could you know, say the separating character in our case, let's say we wanna separate it every place that there's an S. And then we could split the function using that separating character and max splits, let's say we only wanna split um, twice. So this is gonna return a list. So why don't we just go ahead and store it in a list and then we could print out that list. All right, so if we run this, you'll see we split at the S. So it actually gets rid of the splitting character. So we split at all the S's, and then you know we have the parts to the left of this S. So the THI, that's how we get that, is our first character. And then in between the two S's was a space in here, and then an I, right? Because we had a space after that S, and then an I. And then after this S, we should have space a sentence and if you know if you notice here we had another s but it didn't split there because we specified the maximum number of splits was two so it split at our first s our second s and then everything else if you've reached your maximum number of splits everything else is going to get chunked off into one bit so we could see the difference here if we take out this maximum splits character or value and then now we have split into four sections because there were three splits for the three S's. So that's gonna give us four pieces of this string. All right, we could also try this with no parameters. And if we close this and run it again, now we have this is a sentence because with no parameters, the default splitting character is the space. All right, so now we have space, 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 and those are the three places where we split that string into parts, okay? So this is pretty useful. Um, you could think maybe maybe you got the gears spinning as to how you might wanna use this function. Um, I think one cool application, uh, you know, this isn't super secure, so don't go try this at home, uh, but you could try and encrypt, uh, do, do like a very, very crude form of encryption of a password using this function. So let's say uh, we have a password that's just some random numbers and letters. And let's say we want to uh, send that password to our friend or something 
uh, but don't want to just send the whole password because that's obviously really insecure. Let's say we stick some uh, some kind of uh, distracting characters in here uh, that we know aren't used in our password. So let's say uh, we wanted to use like question marks in here and we could throw some question marks in here and then we could split this string at those question marks and then use it to piece it back together, right? So if we take the string and we split at the question mark character, and now this isn't sentence, let's call it password. So our new list is gonna be password and splitting at the question marks, and then we could print this new list out. And so maybe take a, take a sec and pause the video, maybe take a look at this password and see where you think uh, it's going to be split here. Uh, so if we do run this and split it, now we have all these bits and pieces, right? And it took out all the question marks, which we didn't want there anyway, right? And so if you wanted, we could then piece this back together uh, using a, a different function, which we could talk about later uh, and get our password back, right? But you can see this could kind of be a cool way to, uh, you know, make your password a little less uh, obvious, I guess. Obviously, this isn't this isn't very advanced. Someone could probably see all the question marks in here and say, "Oh, maybe I should take those out." Uh, but you could do this, you know, do another split with other characters. Um, yeah, not not super secure, but a cool thought experiment, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's all for the split function. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.